Okay, so in today's video, we're talking about how you find flow. And I've found that there are four ways, four primary forms of flow that we can talk about. We can talk about the testers, the drivers, the makers, and the editors. And all these four types, they find flow in different activities and they express flow differently. So today we're looking at how you note this and how you know you're in a flow state and what you can do to access and maintain a flow state. So first, flow is a state of confidence, energy, motivation, and self-esteem, self-worth. When you are in a flow state, you act with a feeling that you know what you're doing, that you know that you're good at what you're doing, that you know you're going to be able to handle any obstacles that come, and that you are fascinated and curious and energetic, and that you are passionate about what you do. So it's this combination of energy and this combination of dopamine and serotonin and all different neurotransmitters in your brain in perfect balance, giving you perfect control, perfect execution, and perfect skill. So I mentioned there are four types of flow to talk about. We can talk about tester flow, editor flow, maker flow, and driver flow. Now the drivers, they are the starting types. So a lot of the time drivers are extroverted and they are judging. So that means they are types that value fast paced control, fast paced action, fast paced pushing, motivating, driving, setting goals and reaching and working towards a goal. So extroverted judging types, they want to set goals and they want to reach goals fast. So what extroverted judging types do is they decide what they want and they decide on a long-term goal and then they speed up and they try to be as productive and as fast and as quick and reaching this goal as possible. We can talk about and compare this kind of flow to the introverted perceiving flow. So editor flow, I call IP types editors. And editors, they prefer to take things a bit more methodically. What editors do is they look at and they examine available options using perceiving, and then they think about these things methodically, and they cautiously go over and value and judge and score and rate different options to know what is best. So introverted perceiving types spend more time choosing, deciding, and making a decision before they take action. Introverted perceiving types, they are in a more of a flow state when they are selecting and going over numbers and thinking about the details and going over and reflecting on what's better, what's worse, what are the pros, what are the cons, making lists, making examples, and basically troubleshooting their process and it's in this process of troubleshooting that introverted perceiving types find flow. That's the funny thing, because for an extroverted judging type, flow is going out and being fast and being strong and being, making things happen. For a perceiving type, for an introvert perceiving type, it's being in your head, it's reflecting, it's processing, it's making a decision, it's evaluating your actions, it's troubleshooting what went wrong, it's coming up with better things to do, better ways to do things. So. When introvert perceiving type is in flow, they are basically coming up with and figuring out how things work and they're realizing what they could do better and they're thinking about improvements and they're thinking about ways to make a situation different. Now, there are other two types to mention. Those other two types are the makers, which are the introverted judging types, and the testers, which are the extroverted perceiving types. So if you're a tester, you're a person that wants to try things out immediately. You work on immediate application of new ideas. So when there is a new possibility or a new opportunity, you are the first to go out and research these new ideas to test them out in reality. You run experiments, quick experiments. What are the numbers? What are the data points? What are the things I can learn? What are the things, immediate benefits? What are the immediate consequences of making this decision? How can I make this happen? And what would it be like if I made this happen? Extroverted perceiving types, they look at and they discuss new ideas and then they do scenario analysis. So they do research, they do testing, they do experimentation on new ideas. They are less interested in the long-term execution of a plan and more in the researching and gathering available options and comparing them quickly to one another in practice, applying ideas. That is what you are all about. If you are a maker type, an introverted judging type, your core focus is on conceptualizing an idea and then executing said idea. So for an introverted judging type, the maker type, it's all about transforming and turning a concept or an idea or a process into a result. So really about thinking about long-term action, methodical action, patient action, 
into getting results. So we can think about years into the future. We can think about basically step by step, all the steps long term to make something happen. Now you can read more about the testers and the ex makers and the drivers on my website, ericdor.com. And if you have any questions about these types, feel free to leave a comment down below. Otherwise, let me know what personal type do you relate to the most and do you define yourself more as a maker, a driver, a tester, or an editor?